you swung off a nigga and you landed a hit, or you was swinging, you was trying to land a hit, bro. That's all that really matters for real, bro. You just can't go out like no. Now you can't get your ass punched in your face and then start crying and being like, No, why did you hit me? Why do you want to fight? Why did you snake me? You know, you can't be doing no shit like that, bro. You gotta take your L, you gotta take it to the chin. Yo, what's going on, G Dot family? You already know what it is. It's your boy G Dot back at it with another bup, 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 banging ass. Get it, you already know what it is, man. Look, I'm coming back with you some more tips and advice for the God Code segment. Because look, man, a lot of y'all be getting y'all ass beat when y'all don't got to get y'all ass beat. And a lot of y'all be running when you really need to stand there and fight. You see what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't know when to run, y'all don't know when to fight, bro. So I'm going to put you down on when to do both because y'all don't know street rules. Y'all don't know life. So I'm going to put y'all down that way y'all don't have to run for no fights that y'all should have fought and get embarrassed. Or get y'all ass beat because you was trying to act tough. You see what I'm saying? So look, we're going to get into that right now. But before we get into it, you already know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, GuaboyG. and Twitter, GuaboyG. All the links to my social media are going to be in the description below. Including my Twitch, Patreon, and my website. Because look, man, if you're interested in learning how to make some moolah, you see what I'm saying? Go ahead and watch this right here. Hey there, it's your boy Gita. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur and a college dropout. Are you tired of going to work? Are you tired of dealing with your boss and your annoying co workers? Do you want to become your own boss? Well, if you're looking for a solution to your problem, look no further and join my membership today for only $15 a month. I can teach you how to start your own successful business, how to market that business, how to fix your credit so you don't have any more credit problems, and how to invest your money so you can make money in your sleep on top of many other things. Now, all you got to do to join my membership is sign up in the description below and pay $15 a month. You can make as much money as me or even more. If you want to become your own boss and you want to obtain financial freedom look no further for a solution let's start making this money today y'all all right, bam, now we're back to look. If you're interested in learning how to make some money on the stock market, crypto market, how to start your own business, and many more things, don't forget to the link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video so y'all can get put out on this game. Yeah. All right, look, man, look, 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 I'm going to just list out what you should and shouldn't do, you feel me, in certain situations and when you should run and when you shouldn't run. So we're going to go ahead and go off the top of the dome right now. Number one, you should run if it's more than three niggas, okay? Really, really, if it's more than two niggas, I ain't going to lie to you. If it's two niggas, eh, you know, depending on the situation, how big them niggas is, how them niggas looking, how a nigga can fight, if he talking cocky, he look scared or something, you see what I'm saying, you might be able to stand your ground right there, you know, maybe, really when it's more than one person, you really shouldn't be trying to fight that nigga, but sometimes you gotta stay there and fight that nigga, so look, if it's more than two people, go, go for the hills, run nigga, they gonna beat your ass, cause with two people, look, I can punch one nigga, then turn around and punch another nigga, and then they'll go back and forth or something, or I can have my, you know, my eyes on each of them at the same time while I'm fighting them, on some crazy shit, you see what I'm saying, I can have a damn near understanding of where they be at, how they gonna fight, what they gonna do, because they gonna try to tag team off each other, you know, it's only two people. If it's three people, that's too many fucking people for one person, you see what I'm saying? If it's one person, it's just you, how are you gonna fight three people? How are you gonna fight three people, stop three people from hitting you, dodge three punches, how are you gonna do that, bro? So really, you gotta dodge goddamn six punches, because that's three people, three times two is six. So how are you gonna dodge six punches, six kicks, how are you gonna dodge all that, bro? You can't dodge all that, it's just not being realistic with you, you see what I'm saying? And you also need to run, bro, if you in an area that you don't know, or you in an area that you know this can go wrong at, like if you in they hood and they try to fight you, not really the best idea to try to fight that nigga all the time. Sometimes it's best to just go ahead and just skedaddle up out of there. You see what I'm saying? Because the nigga's on your ass and you in the wrong hood. Sometimes you got to go and run, bro. That don't make you a bitch because you ran, bro. Niggas run all the time. They just don't talk about it, okay? Niggas run all the time. Sometimes it's better to go ahead and take an L right now and live than to take an L and then to lose your life trying to be tough. Sometimes it just ain't worth it. Sometimes you got to go ahead and stand your ground, but sometimes it just ain't worth it. You see what I'm saying? I'm just be honest with you, bro. Sometimes it just don't be worth it. So I'm going to tell you right now, if you in the ops hood or you around some niggas that you don't know or in the area that you don't know or something, bro, run. Get the hell up out of there. You see what I'm saying? Catch my drift. Get up out of there. But you can only really run if you wasn't talking shit, okay? If you was talking shit and you in the ops hood and they catch you, bro, kinda gotta stand your ground. You don't gotta stand your ground, but you kinda gotta stand your ground because how you gonna talk some shit and run off when niggas press you? How you gonna do that? Now you look like a bitch in these streets and now niggas gonna try you because you just talking out your side of your neck, but you can't back nothing up. That's how niggas get their ass beat. That's how niggas get bitched out here. You see what I'm saying? That's how niggas get the title of being a bitch in the streets. You don't want that title because once you label a hoe in these streets, niggas gonna come at you and try to try you 
They're going to try to rob you. They're going to try to do all types of shit to you and have their way because they just heard you a hoe. And you ain't no hoe, bro. You don't want to be labeled as no hoe. So shut up. Don't talk shit to niggas that you know you're not finna fight, bro. If you know you're not finna fight this nigga or you know you're not finna do nothing to this nigga, bro, don't fight the man. It's not worth fighting the man. What are you fighting the man for right now? You're going to fight him just so he can beat your ass when there's two other people with him, bro? And you knew you should have just shut the fuck up? Or you knew that this nigga Loki was going to beat my ass because he big as hell, but you just kept talking because you thought you was that nigga or something, bro? It don't be worth the ego. That's all I'm saying, big dog. It don't be worth the ego, okay? Now, bam. Now, since we got past that situation, there's another situation you possibly need to run, bro. If a nigga got a gun and you don't got a gun, shut your ass up and run, nigga. A lot of y'all be trying to talk crazy to niggas with guns. He has a gun, bro. Shut up. Unless you got a gun right now, unless you can go bang, bang, boom, boom, right back, don't do it, bro, because he's going to pop your ass and walk off. There ain't nothing you can do about it, bro. Fists don't fly. Kicks don't fly. I'm just being honest with you. And the answer ain't going to kill nobody if it's one hit. So look, be careful with a nigga with a pipe. You know, so most times or not, you're going to have to run, bro. More times than not. Unless he's just up on you and you really can't because if you turn around, he's going to shoot. So if you see a nigga with a gun and he's talking crazy to you, bro, or he acting like he finna get on that with you, bro, get up out that jam. There's no reason for you to stay here and try to argue with the nigga that has a gun already. It goes for niggas and girls. You see what I'm saying? Y'all be getting shot. Y'all be getting in a situation because y'all try to act tough when a nigga got the upper hand on me. That's like a nigga up and on me and I'm like, shoot a bitch ass nigga. You's a bitch. You ain't gonna do nothing. Yada, yada, yada. And then he shoot me and now I'm looking stupid. It's a gun, bro. Like, you don't know what these niggas gonna do so it's better just to run in that situation. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's better just to get the hell up out of that jam. You don't need to stay in your ground in no gun situation because a gun ain't like he's trying to fight you or nothing. A gun is like some crazy shit. Like a gun's trying to take your life. So you don't gotta stay for that, bro. You see what I'm saying? You can go ahead and run and get up out that jam. Don't gotta stay and take no L because you feel me, you wanna act tough. Don't have to do that, bro. And the last situation, bro, where you should really just have to stand your ground and beat his ass. I ain't gonna lie to you, but nigga pressing you, a uh, nigga trying to get on that with you, bro. He trying to get on that with you every day, or you getting bullied or something, bro. Go ahead and just fight him. Cause look, let me tell you something. If you don't fight him, he gonna keep coming at you every day till you fight him, bro. These niggas don't care. A lot of niggas that be bullying motherfuckers, they don't come at you till you give them a reason not to come at you. So these niggas gonna come at you hard. I'm talking about bullying you on your ass, trying to press you, trying to beat your ass, all types of shit, trying to rob you, doing all types of stuff, so you show you ain't no bitch. You all be seeing my jail reactions. Y'all be seeing what be going on in jail a little bit. You see what I'm saying from the 60 days in? Y'all know what's going on. When a nigga go to jail and he talk out the side of his neck or he act like he hard or something, he usually get his ass beat. But more times than not, you see what I'm saying? Nigga that quiet might get tried just because a nigga want to see what's to him. So if a nigga try you, you can't just run, bro. You can't just get up out that jam and run because a nigga tried you. You got to stand your ground. You got to be willing to fight. You got to be willing to get knocked out too, bro. It ain't all rainbows and sunshine like bad shit happening out here too, bro. You got to be ready to get knocked out. You got to get ready to get woozy. You got to get ready to get embarrassed in front of some people. But it don't matter. As long as you swung, you swung off a nigga and you landed a hit or you was swinging, you was trying to land a hit, bro. That's all that really matters for real. Bro, you just can't go out like no bitch. Like, you can't get your ass punched in your face and then start crying and being like, No, why do you hit me? Why do you want to fight? Why did you snake me? You know, you can't be doing no shit like that, bro. You gotta take your L, you gotta take it to the chin, but you can't be crying like no little hoe, man. But you can't run. When you run from situations like that, these niggas is gonna make it worse and worse and worse on you, and you're not gonna get no hoes, bro. You know why you're not gonna get no hoes? Because you can't defend these hoes. If you can't defend yourself, why would the girls wanna get with you, bro? Because you obviously can't defend them, nigga. They can't defend themselves. You can't defend them. You can't defend nobody. So why are they getting with an L? They might as well get with a W and get with your bully, because at least your bully can do something. That's what really be going on. Y'all gotta understand, bro. Women wanna be protected. So if you're not protecting yourself, how can you protect a woman? You see what I'm saying? That's why you're not getting no hoes. That's why you be running from situations and you be running from the pussy, really. Gotta stop running from the situation and stop running from the pussy and long hand run to it run towards it sometimes you gotta run towards some confrontations you see what i'm saying a confrontation is gonna make a man out of you for real i had some confrontations in my life and they made a man out of nigga i'm just putting you down what's really going on you feel me you just can't be doing this bullshit you gotta have some confrontation in your life man but look don't run from every situation. Every situation does not call for you to run, bro. Every situation doesn't call for you to stand your ground either. You gotta understand what's going on. If it's too many people, run, nigga. Just being honest with you. If it's too many motherfucking people, run. If they have a weapon and you know you really can't defend yourself against that weapon, run, nigga. Time to get the hell up out of there. Motherfucker gonna hurt your ass for real, bro. If a nigga talking shit to you, though, and it's just him or just him and one other person, bro, you might have to go on here and just, you know me, knuckle up real quick because, hey, you need your respect. Motherfuckers live and die about that respect that hey you need your respect in these streets because I respect niggas gonna try you every day and I don't think you want to get tried every day you see what I'm saying I think you want to have a nice normal calm life I don't think you want to get tried every day so if a nigga keep trying you every day you ain't got nothing to do but 
You feel me? Square up with him real quick and see what's going on. Because if you don't, niggas going to press you, bro. Niggas going to keep trying you. And I don't think you want that, game. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that you want that. So, since you don't want that, let's go ahead and act like real men out here. And get into a couple scuffles. Get our feet dirty. Get off goddamn fist dirty. You see what I'm saying? And not run, okay? But those are situations where you should run and stand your ground. If it's more people than you, bro, run. If niggas got weapons, bro, run. If it's just one nigga or something, you feel me, you gotta go ahead and stand your ground. If you was talking shit to 30 niggas and 30 niggas try to run up on you, you can try to run, but you might have to go ahead and take that L real quick, you feel me? Just don't be talking shit to people, that's all I be saying. When you talk shit to people, they more likely get on that with your ass, and when they do get on that with your ass, they gonna stay on that, because you was talking shit. So, just shut the fuck up and be cool sometimes, bro. You ain't gotta be a tough guy, be cool. It's okay to be a cool guy, man, for real. But that's the end of the video, though, G.Dot Family. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, Comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new banging ass video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at GuaboyG. and Twitter at GuaboyG. All the social media links for everything else gonna be in the description below. Include my Twitch, Patreon, and my website. You already know what's going on with that. But without further ado, man, <laughs> we out.